What's going on, everybody? This is Will Koch with another episode of The Sports Bench, the program where you get relaxed and get informed. So glad you guys can join me for another airing. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to uh, spread the word and to spread the reach on my channel. Now, I'll admit, I'm a couple days late on this, but I really wanted to talk about this because this is um, something that, that I've said for quite some time. I've hinted it on Twitter. I've said it on Twitter. I've said it in personal conversations. But uh, I'm glad this was, this came back out, this, su- this subject matter, because, you know, it really relates to what I'm about to say. So for those, um, if you if you guys remember, uh, LeBron James, uh, back in 2017 on his show, The Shop, you know, he, he was asked about, he had discussed the topic of uh, a football player potentially being the greatest of all time as far as an athlete is concerned. And uh, LeBron James actually uh, pushed back on that idea when he was on the show a couple years back. Uh, he said because they basically, football players only play one way. They're just a one-way sport. He said, quote, my only argument with a football player being the greatest athlete of all time is that they only got to play one side of the floor, man. And he said, per CBS Sports at the time. He said, yes, uh, he said, yes, quote, Brady is unbelievable. Brady is the greatest quarterback I've ever seen, but he affects the game one way. And he continued by saying, as physical as football is and to the body, I know it's crazy to the body, but for a quarterback, Coach Bill Belichick has done a great job implementing those five guys in front in front to protect that asset. Now, actually, uh, Tom Brady, he had recently appeared on the show. And uh, Maverick Carter, who is LeBron James' business partner, asked for Tom Brady's thoughts on, on LeBron's comments back in 2017. And uh, Brady said, quote, it really just depends on what style you like. You could say, well, you're maybe the most accomplished. I would say, okay, yeah, I've won a lot of games, Super Bowls and so forth. But my style of play might not fit everybody else's. What their view of what that position should be. He continued by saying, I can really just be the best with the body that I was given. There are certain things that I certainly cannot do. And I have the awareness to realize, okay, I can't do those things. You can't do everybody else's job. I can't block, run, tackle, catch. Sure as hell can't run. <laughs> that's, that's funny to me. And um, but he said, I can blow the blank out of the ball. So let me just do that. And let me do that really well. Close quote. Now, for just for the sake of discussion and uh, debate, you know, from my personal opinion, you know, I, I kind of side with Tom Brady with what he's saying about, you know, it's just the sport he plays. That's just the body he has. And that's just the way the football game is constructed. That's how the sport is is uh, built and constructed. When people ask me personally, uh, well, who do you consider the greatest athlete? When I look, when somebody asks me that question, I always consider personally, based on, like I look at the athlete and evaluate them based on what they accomplish, not necessarily their personal gifts, their physical abilities, and their personal athleticism. Because I look at personal, I feel like if you are an athlete in general, especially at the professional level, don't be an athletic is a prerequisite. That's just to me the bare minimum. Now, granted, let me let me be first to say I know there are varying degrees of athleticism. You know, some people are just more gifted than others with the size, speed, strength, whatever the case may be. But I always look at athletes by what they accomplish ultimately, because that's just a prerequisite. There are so many other phenomenally blessed and gifted athletes who don't make a great career. And that's just that's just the way it is, plain and simple. And, and what's interesting enough is uh, what LeBron, about what LeBron said is that based on his argument, you could really say he, he shouldn't be in a go conversation either. Because if you think about it, if we talk about just all athletes, if he, based on his description of what a go to athlete should be, basketball players are disqualified as well because that's, that's also a, like football, it's a team sport. This at its basic core. And if, if we really talk about gold athletes, you could look at, based on his description now, the gold athlete would have to be either a boxer, tennis player, or golfer. They just think about that. Those sports, you know, is mano y mano, one-on-one. They're based on the biggest championships, on the biggest stage. You know, just about holding their crown. You, they, can't, they can't push blame to their teammate or so on, this and that in the third. It's all on them. So based on his description, it's it's interesting that he kind of puts himself down, well, basketball players down. But I want to throw all that out there. But in all honesty, that's not even the point of me making this video. The reason what LeBron James said back then was so is so important to me is that it just reinforces the narrative that championships matter so much in, for basketball players. And what I've always said is that you know it's uh, 
players and bas- NBA players should be judged more on their championships more so than NFL players because um, unlike football, basketball is a two-way sport. Other sports, two-way sports like baseball, same thing. But just for the sake of this video, basketball. Basketball players, they have control on both sides of the floor, offense and defense. Now, make no mistake, there's everybody's not going to be exceptional on both sides of the floor. They're just Those are reserved just for very exceptional players all time, like Kobe Bryant's. You know, Tim Duck is uh, Dwayne Wade. So just uh, Michael Jordan, of course, just, just just to name a few. But they still, but whether you're exceptional on offense or exceptional on defense and not exceptional on the other, you still have some type of responsibility to hold up for every possession that you're out there. And this is why I always say, this is why we always judge basketball players on rings. Not to mention that the mobility of players, LeBron James going from Cleveland to Miami, Miami back to Cleveland and from Cleveland to Los Angeles. Kevin Durant going from the Thunder to the Warriors to the Nets. Player mobility. It's about the rings. Those guys have got all the stats. They could put up 25, 10, 8, everywhere they go regardless because they're that special players. You look at Damian Lillard right now, likely on his way out of Portland, giving his franchise nearly a decade, and he got hasn't gotten close to his ring. I think he made, he made the Western Conference Finals once in his career. It's not enough. So when I see fans talking about how we can't always judge players on rings, hey, that's the name of the sport. Two-way sport, don't have the same injuries concerned as the NFL. Player mobility, putting players putting themselves in better situations, grouping up with other superstars, they should be applauded for that because they're going to be judged by the rings. Let's say if Kevin Durant had still remained in OKC and he still hasn't gotten a ring, hypothetically, he would be ripped consistently, constantly. So you can't win with fans on, on Twitter. You got to do what's best for you. That's why the ring count is so important. Now, granted, their statistical outputs reflect their dominance. However, the ring completes it. It just does, especially multiple rings, to put yourself in an even higher conversation on the NBA hierarchy. Well, that's all I have for today, gentlemen. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this and all my videos to spread the word and to spread the reach. If you're coming from TikTok, we're still on the road to 1,000 subs on YouTube. So... Please, guys, I appreciate your support. Continue just to like, comment, and share. You guys have a blessed day, and be well.